Marshall Siegel presents a compelling perspective on the Christian life, emphasizing that it encompasses far more than the renunciation of sin. It is fundamentally about embracing the full, abundant life that Jesus promises. Siegel does not minimize the necessity of combating sin, citing scriptural imperatives from Ephesians and Romans that command believers to cast off their old, sinful natures. The act of rejecting sin is critical because it evidences the transformative power of Christ in us, which is intrinsic to our hope of eternal life. However, the essence of Christian living is not captured by this alone. Siegel highlights that the journey of faith is not merely subtractive, it is richly additive. According to Colossians 3, Christians are called to not only discard an old self corrupted by sin, but to also clothe themselves with a new self. This new identity is fashioned after the likeness of God, reflecting His glory and character. The process of becoming like God is gradual and unfolds day by day, drawing the believer into an increasingly vivid display of God's image. Also, this transformation, Siegel points out, is undergirded by knowledge, particularly the knowledge of God. This theme of knowledge as transformative is woven throughout Colossians. It is not mere factual or doctrinal knowledge, but a deep, relational understanding of God that reshapes our desires and behaviors. This knowledge fuels spiritual growth, spurring us to live in a manner that honors God and deepens our relationship with Him. Moreover, the fruits of this new knowledge-infused life are not just internal changes, but are visible in the form of love and commitment within the community of believers, the Church. Siegel indicates that Christian maturity is marked by a decline in sinful behaviors, but is more profoundly characterized by an intimate acquaintance with God and the resultant love that flows from that relationship. Furthermore, as this knowledge of God deepens, believers discover and develop characteristics of their new self. Siegel enumerates these virtues as outlined in Colossians 3.12, compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, and above all, love. These are the hallmarks of the new creation in Christ, taking precedence over what was cast off. This new identity manifests the reality of Christ's indwelling presence, defining a Christian not by the sins they resist, but by the virtues they exhibit and the divine love they exude. In addition, Siegel stresses that love is the supreme evidence of a believer's transformation. While moral abstinence can be observed by others and provoke curiosity, without love, it is incomplete and unfulfilling. Paul's teachings in Corinthians resonate with this, suggesting that even the most sacrificial acts are hollow without love. Jesus himself asserts that love for one another is the defining mark of his disciples. Further, it is possible, Siegel admits, to follow the letter of the law, to avoid various sins scrupulously, and yet miss the essence of what it means to follow Christ. Genuine transformation in Christ engenders compassion, humility, peace, joy, and love, which are not possible without a true love for Jesus. Besides, Siegel brings his message to a crescendo by encouraging believers not to dwell exclusively on what they must forsake, but to celebrate the newness of life they gain in Christ. The journey involves struggle and renunciation, but it is also about being made new and better, about embracing the virtues and joys that can only be experienced through a relationship with Jesus. Additionally, this new self that believers put on is reinforced by the Spirit, enabling them not just to say no to sin, but to engage robustly with life. In Christ, we are created anew for good works, which God has ordained. Thus, the Christian life is a dynamic passage from death to life, characterized by an ongoing series of affirmative responses to the love, goodness, and opportunities God presents. In conclusion, Siegel's view of Christianity transcends the simplistic notion of sin management. It is an invitation to a transformative, joy-filled journey of becoming like Christ, marked by a deep knowledge of God that manifests in love and good deeds. This life is a testament to the power of the gospel, which not only frees us from sin's grasp, but also empowers us to live out the rich, purposeful lives God has designed for us.